So proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. There was a slight feeling of change in the air. The creatures of the high country knew it was there. That's when the first hint of a spring breeze breaks winter's icy grip. It was felt by all that the final clash between Thaura and the Brolga could not be far off. The title of King of the Cascade Brumbies, The Prize. there, friend or foe? Friend. Advance and be recognized. See, Karamon? It's just me, Boon Boon. Hmm. Friend, eh? Hmm. Considering the company you've been keeping lately, the claim is a trifle dubious. What? That's an outrageous thing to say, Karawong. The Broger is my father, you seem to have forgotten. Huh! <laughs> What's going on here, Karawong? Suspected enemy agent in our midst, sire. Suspected enemy? That's my daughter, Boon Boon, you're talking about, you useless cretin! I've been doing some deep thinking since our last meeting, Father. Oh? In what regard, daughter? You asked if I had anyone in mind for a lifetime partner. Yes? And you were concerned that it should be someone worthy of me. Yes? If that is what you really wish, then there is only one stallion it can be. Yes? That stallion must be... Thara. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Thara is well loved in the high country. He's noble and courageous, and there's room for you both to run free with your herds. There is only room for one king of the Cascade Brumbies, daughter. Thara must be defeated, as his father was before him. But Yaraman was older. His time had come. Thara is a young stallion with the magic of the bush on his side. <laughs> Beware, dear father, for you are no longer so young. <laughs> Karawong! Yes, your mercurial magnificence. What can I do for you, sire? Find Thaura. Tell him I formally challenge him to combat. The victor to be king of the Cascade Brumbies. But do you think he'll fight? He's avoided it in the past. Spread the word. If he refuses to fight, his cowardice will be the talk of the high country. <laughs> With great pleasure, El Supremo. That pest's time has come. <laughs> Uh-oh! Bandit at two o'clock! That miserable feather duster likes having currawongs for dinner. Phew! Safe. 
You've got to get up early to catch old Karawang. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Arrow! Oh, mighty fast and courageous, Arrow! Hey, who's this? Where have you been, Arrow? We haven't seen you for a few days. Oh, uh, well, I, uh, just decided to make it easier for Thara now that he's back. The herd won't be too happy not having me as leader anymore. Did you hear about the monster of Misty Lake? Hear about it? I saw the beast. Thara had better watch out or it'll have him for breakfast. Oh, no. Turned out it was just a friendly old bunyip. Friend of Thara's, in fact. Friend of Thara's? Oh, typical. Yeah, typical, typical. A Brumby standard in the way. <laughs> Take it easy, Wombat. I've had a bad enough time recently without you adding to it. Out of the way, Arrow, out of the way. Wombat coming through. <laughs> Hold it, everyone. I'm searching for he who would be king. Ah, g'day, Karawong. King, hey? What can I do for you? Not you, you bamboozled brained excuse for a Brumby. <laughs> He's looking for Thaura. That's right. You might find him with Boon Boon. <laughs> yeah, those two have become very, very friendly. friendly. Very friendly? What? You mean to say that those two are... Yes, and everyone in the high country knows it except you, Arrow. Trust him! And the mighty Brolga knows it too. He's issued a challenge to Thara to resolve who's king of the Cascade Brumbies once and for all. Spread the word. Uh, what about me? Looks as though the old prospector is going somewhere. The Silver Brambi. Am I pleased to see you? Yeah, I'm getting too old for this prospecting game. All good things must come to an end, my friend. Time for me to move on, I'm afraid. I'm moving to the lowlands to live with Don and Charlie. They got a nice little bungalow set up for me down there. My one big regret is that I'm gonna miss the creatures of the high country. And you and your friends in particular. <laughs> Brolga issues a challenge to Thara to see who's going to be king of the Cascade Brumbies. And do you know why? Because he knows if he challenges me, he'll get a thrashing. That's why. The Brolga knows he can beat Thara. And that's why I've been left out. Me. Arrow. The one Brumby who was born to be king. <laughs> I'd better go down to the creek to round up those folds. We'll meet you back at the secret valley. OK, Boon Boon. I'll catch you later. <laughs> Thara, have you heard the news? Yes, Benny. It's a shame, isn't it? Not really, Thara. It had to happen sooner or later. Oh, yes, I realise that. But I'd hoped he'd stay around for years yet. I can't imagine why. He's too old and he's been nothing but a cranky bully. Benny, I'm surprised at you. You know as well as I do he's always been gentle and kind. Eh? I've heard the Brolga called many things, Thara, but never gentle and kind. The Brolga? What's he got to do with the old prospector leaving the high country? The old prospector? I take it then you haven't heard of the Brolga's challenge. The Brolga's challenge? A fight, once and for all, to decide who is to be king of the Cascade Brumbies. Just you and him. The news is all over the high country. You will have to fight him this time. I see. The time has come, Thara, for you to fulfill your ultimate destiny, to claim what is rightfully yours. The Brolga is still a powerful enemy, Thara. 
You can never match him blow for blow. You must use agility and cunning to defeat him. Sarando, what is it? This fight, Brolga. Must it take place? What kind of question is that? That upstart Thaura has been a thorn in my side for years. But even if you beat Thaura, some other young stallion will take his place. Then he too will feel my wrath. Then there will be another. And then another. But then they shall all feel the wrath of the mighty Brolga. What do you expect me to do, Aranda? Simply step aside? You and I could leave here together, in peace. Nothing can stop the inevitable from happening sooner or later. <laughs> what you ask is impossible. Now leave me, Aranda. I will never shy away from combat with that weakling, Thaura. <laughs> Have it, Mopoke. Proof that the Brolga is terrified of me. He's avoided challenging me, the rightful heir to the throne, because he knows I'll beat him. There's something about that arrow that doesn't sound quite right. My guess is he can't be bothered challenging you to a fight. <laughs> and to think that Mopoke is supposed to be revered for his wisdom. The sooner this fight's over and done with, the better. Might get some peace and quiet around here. Well, Karawang, did you issue the challenge? Uh, most definitely so, your royal redemptionless. And? Uh... Well, I haven't actually seen Thara, sire, but he'll hear about it. The others will spread the word. <laughs> you imbecile Karawong, get back up there and find Thara. Get his answer and come straight back. B -b but there's a hungry-looking eagle on the prowl, your saliva superbness. I don't... Get airborne, I said. Oh, uh, oh, I, 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 El Capitano. Your wish is my command, sire. And tell him he can decide the time and place. <laughs> Prancing Pratt B. First amphibious wedge-tailed eagle. <laughs> oh, Father, if you were there, please come to me. If ever there was a time I needed the benefit of your wisdom, it is now. Yes, my son. I am here. The Brolga has issued a final challenge to settle which of us shall continue as king of the Cascade Brumbies. This time had to come, Thara. Yes, but is it the right time? Am I ready to fight the Brolga on his own terms? 
There is only one creature that can answer that question, Thara. You. You must search within yourself for the answer. If the time is right, you will know. Of course, Father. What you say makes sense. If I am to assume the mantle of King, I must be responsible for this decision myself. No one else can help. Wise words, my son. And whatever happens, I want you to know that I will always be proud to have had such a son. Thank you, Father. And goodbye. Carawan, where did you come from? Thanks. So, Thara, what's your answer? Answer? To the mighty Brolga's challenge. <clears throat> he has graciously consented to you choosing the time and place. You can tell your master that I shall meet him in the clearing below Echo Rock at dawn. Echo Rock at dawn. Excellent. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, Thara. It'll probably be your last. <laughs> About time. We're all set, your entrepreneurial impressiveness. The show's on. Where and when? Dawn tomorrow at Echo Rock. Echo Rock. Echo Rock. Echo Rock. Echo Rock. Echo Rock. Good. Everybody will be able to hear Thaura begging for mercy throughout the high country. Not to mention the spectacle. I can't wait to see it. Bam! Bow! Biff! Wham! No spectators, Karawong. This is strictly between Thaura and me. Oh, whatever you say, bombastic one. Now, get airborne and keep an eye on Thaura. I don't want him sneaking off. He may lose his nerve. Aye, aye, sire. <laughs> Thara, is this fight really necessary? It would seem so, Burn Burn. It's the way of the high country and the wild Brumbies. If only there was some way it could be avoided. I appreciate how hard it must be for you, Burn Burn. But the Brog is too old and too fixed in his ways to change now. Yes, what you say is true. Goodbye, Thara, for the moment. And good luck. <laughs> So, Thaura, you decided to turn up. Did you doubt that I would? Uh, you wouldn't have been the first stallion to have thought better of tangling with the mighty Brolga. <laughs> I'm going to see this if it's the last thing I do. Well, not this time, Brolga. <laughs> Here, you miserable coward. Come on, Broga. Every step you run ties you more. Stop and fight, Power. You coward! <laughs> There's no escape now, Tower. Had enough, Broga! What? One lucky strike, and you think I'm finished? Not likely. Stay still, 
I'll blast you, Tower. And fight like a brumby. <laughs> Slippery weakling. There's no escape, Thaura. Challenge me once too often, Brogger. <clears throat> there won't be any need for another challenge, Thaura. Forever. I, Thara, am now king of the Cascade Brumbies. I promise to rule with the same justice and wisdom as did my father, the great Yaraman. I do further decree that the Brogger's life be spared, but he is to be banished from the high country forever. He may seek new pastures, but he is never to return to my kingdom again. I accept your conditions, Thaura. But for Aranda's sake, more so than my own. I acknowledge Thaura as the new king of the Cascade Brumbies. Oh, what? Anything I can do for you, mighty Thaura? I can help out in lots of ways. Keeping an eye on troublemakers, let you in on the latest gossip, all that kind of thing. <laughs> and so the High Country had a new monarch of all the wild Brumbies, a leader who promised to rule with justice and wisdom, and did so without Karawong's help. Huh. And from Thaura and Boon Boon came forth a whole generation of wise and noble Brumbies. Brumbies born to be leaders from that time on. Yes, 
With the trappers being forced by the high country creatures to beat a hasty retreat, it would not be long before the mountains would seem free once again. Free of worry, free of care, free of danger. The creatures would soon be able to return to being themselves and enjoying their lives. Especially the youngsters. But even freedom, when care is set aside, can have its dangers. Got anything? Just a few good specs. Not duds like that last one. You wondered where you'd got to. Thought you were supposed to be giving me a hand. Been in the bush, wondering. Seems nice with those trappers gone. Anyway, it'd be better with them gone. I just lose track of time when I'm out there. Yeah, it does that, the bush. Glad it's got into your bones, though, Charlie. You'll never regret having the high country a part of you. Never. Well, you can know it like the back of your hand and still get lost. I'm careful, Grandad. I remember what you've taught me. Anyway, I've made so many friends among the bush creatures. I think they'd see me home all right. Yeah, maybe so. Let's hope we never have to find out. Now, stop talking and give me a hand. We've got to earn our keep. Where are you? Well, come out. There's things to be done. I'm waiting. I'm tired of what... Ow! What's this? Something big and soft. <laughs> oh, what's so funny, ghost horse? You. You're always complaining about us getting in your way. Now you're in ours. Yeah. Out of the way. Out of the way. Orphan foal coming through. <laughs> uh, don't be cheeky, Urella. Have some respect. <laughs> Sorry, Thara. Sorry, Wombat. Well, so you should be. And I'm still looking. What are you looking for, Wombat? Baby Wombat keeps wandering off for long stretches at a time. Usually when there's some work to be done. Well, he's growing up, Wombat. It's only naturally she'd want to get about on his own for a bit. When you were young, you must have... Never did. Baby Wombat, get over here before I... He's wa not here, Wombat. Nowhere around here. What would you know? You're only a foal. I can see, Wombat, and I'm higher up than you are, and he's not here. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, you find him. I'm going home. <laughs> Can I try and find him, Thara? Can I? Maybe another time, Urella. You're still a bit... Ah, you're great at giving advice. <laughs> Pity you don't take some of your own. All right for my baby wombat to wander off, but not your orphan. Oh, I can do it, Thara. I'll be careful and I won't leave any hoof marks and I won't make any noise. Oh, please, Thara. All right. The baby wombat is probably on his way home right this minute. But you can never have enough practice at tracking. Off you go. Typical, typical. Not far now, and it's good riddance to the high country forever. Danger. I see no danger. Last one to the creek's a rotten egg. Did he say a rotten egg? That's what he said, a rotten egg. You're wrong!
Wombat! Wombat! Speak to me! He's not moving, Moroi! We need to get help! You keep trying to wake him! Bottom of the escarpment. Blimey. That's the way those trappers were headed. Trappers! Charlie, be careful! <laughs> I'll tell you something, sunshine. If you don't turn up soon, when I catch you, I'll. I? I? Oh, now what? One of them pesky dingo pups in trouble again. <laughs> Always a crisis. Typical. Typical. No one round when you need them. I suppose poor old Wombat's gonna have to see what the matter is. That'd be right, yeah, that'd be right. <laughs> What happened? It was the monster. The blue monster. <laughs> He's alive. Alive? Oh, awesome. I thought... Yeah, we both thought... He's alive, oh. but he's pretty knocked about. We're going to have to get him back to his family. Any ideas? Uh, no. I don't think so. No. Hmm. Maybe Thara could help. He knows everything. You stay here while I try and find him. Hmm, <laughs> bit grotty. Not up to Karawong's usual standards. But I suppose beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Well, what I wouldn't do for a... Hey, what's this? So, the blue monster's escaping the high country, is it? Well, it's not going to get off that easily. Halt! <laughs> I order you to stop and apologize for all the mischief and mayhem you have caused. The mighty Brolga has bronchitis from the dunking you gave him in the river. Did you hear something, mate? Nope, not a thing. Oh, uh, if I could just scream. And I'm the fastest, and the smartest, and the strongest. And I, and I can leap huge gullies with a single bound. Hey, Yorella, what's the rush? Sorry, Arrow, can't stop. It's an emergency. I've got to find Thara. Thara? Emergency? <sighs> I would have thought by now, Yorella, that you would have realised that I'm the one to see in an emergency. Thara's no good in an emergency. Spends too much time admiring himself in rock pools, that sort of thing. Now, uh, what's the emergency? It's Baby Wombat. He was hit by a blue thing on the road. Oh, dead, hey? Well, that's easily fixed. Just leave him there. No, not dead, but injured. We've got to do something to help him. Hmm. And what was the great Thara going to do? Give him the kiss of life or something? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm sure he'd think of something. Well, I'm sure I can think of something better. But I probably should check on the situation firsthand. So, lead on, my fine young Brumby. I'll follow you. <laughs> As you can see, they can't get along without me. Catch you soon. <sighs> Yep, 
No doubt about it. You were quite right, Yorella. Baby Wombat's been hit. Yes, but what can we do about it? Well, uh, um, I, uh, I could grab him by the tail with my teeth and drag him back to his wombat hole. <laughs> no, Arrow, no. He's been hurt. He needs to be treated with care. I knew I should have found Thaura. What? Now that's just a load of... Oh, no! Hey! Baby Wombat, what happened? A Brumby Hunter! Run for your lives! Ah! Oh, you poor thing. You've been hurt. Good day, boy. Your friend doesn't look too good to me. <laughs> We've got to get him back to my grandfather. He may be able to make him better. I'll just test his weight. Oh, oh. I'm not going to be able to carry him home. He weighs a ton. going to have to think of something else. Any suggestions, boy? No? What about you, pups? Hmm, this requires some thought. Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> Typical, typical. You try to find a dingo pup in trouble and the stupid whippersnapper stops howling before a wombat can find where he is. Can't find where baby wombat is either. Not a particularly good day. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Oh, what do you expect? There's always someone who's prepared to laugh at another's misfortune. But at least those pesky trappers are nowhere in sight. Now it's safe to fly across. It. <laughs> what kind of tree is this? Not a leaf in sight. Uh, I get it. These aren't trees. Something man-made, in fact. Another intrusion into the high country. Shocking, simply shocking. <laughs> outrage! Outrage! Man-made lightning bolts! Outrage! <laughs> going on over there. Oh, what a wait. <laughs> steady, boy, steady. I know you're not used to it, but it'll be all right. Now, with a bit of luck, I'll be able to walk Baby Wombat home. See if we can do it. Come on, boy, let's go. What in the name of blundering Brumbies is going on? That's it. Good boy, good. That's the way. That's the way. Now I've seen everything. Hey, look over there. The old jetty, my favourite fishing spot. Can't you see the sign, mate? There's no fishing. I've been fishing here since I was a kid. Takes more than some dopey new sign to stop me. <laughs> oh, let's get over there. Mm. Oh, I can't see a damn thing. No dingo pups, no baby wombat. Wouldn't like what you saw anyway, even if you could see. Hey, see what? What? What, 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 what? Your son, on the back of the orphan foal, kidnapped by a man. One of the little ones. Kidnapped? Another trapper? Could be. Didn't get close enough to find out. Killers, all of them. Ran me over, in fact. I'm going north for a rest. You sort it out. Sort it out? What's going on? Kidnapped? Hey, hey, you come back, Carolong. Hey, 
Hey, come back here. <laughs> That'll give the old sourpuss something to think about. <laughs> An injured wombat riding a horse. Oh, what a fight! Hey, now what's this? Not more noise to disturb my bliss. Uh, g'day, Mopoke. Uh, you haven't seen a rather nice-looking filly about, have you? Kind of nice colour, big brown eyes. Now her I have not seen, but a wombat riding a horse this way has been. A wombat riding a... <laughs> well, now I've heard everything, Mopoke. What kind of berries have you been eating? If you care to proceed with stealth, you'll be able to see for yourself. No, oh, I've got more important things to do than listen to this rubbish. See you later, Mopoke. It's just as well Arrow should go. But I better find Thaura. He should know. That wasn't right. That definitely wasn't right. I don't think that man thing is supposed to be walking with our friends. I'm sure Baby Wombat is not supposed to be riding on Urella's back. Perhaps Wombat said it was all right. Do you think so? Oh, I don't think so. Perhaps we should tell him. Perhaps we should. You see, it's just the way I said. The baby's hurt, but at least not dead. It's just that... Well, it's just that it's not right. Well, I never. Who'd have believed it? Hard to believe, I must agree. Quite a surprise, even for me. Well, sorry for not believing you, Mopoke. Let's keep them company for the rest of the journey. Good idea. Now I've seen everything. Ooh, baby wombat injured. We'll look after him. That's a relief. Now baby wombat's in good hands. Wombat, are we glad we bumped into you? Oh, we just saw Baby Wombat riding on Urella's back, believe it or not. Well, lying, actually. Oh, yes, lying, precisely. Lying on the foal's back, and we said... No, 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 cut your cackling. I know this already. Oh, you do? You do? I do. Didn't you hear me? You got feathers stuck in your ears as well. Mm. What I don't know, you prattling nincompoops, is where he is. Oh, he never asked that, did he, Mew? Oh, certainly not. Not that. If he had, we would have said the old prospector's hut, wouldn't we? Oh, we would. Well, why didn't you? Now, out of me way. <laughs> oh, uh, emus, emus, you haven't, um, uh, seen any sign of a nice young filly, have you? Big brown eyes? Uh, nope. I guess, uh, well, I'll just keep looking. There, there, I won't hurt you. Just got to find out what's wrong and where. <laughs> Sorry, fella. All done. Yeah. Bit of shock, I reckon. Sore leg and a sore head. Pretty lucky, really. But he's growing up now and they're tough as rocks, these wombats. Whatever collides with them often gets more damage than they do. So he'll be all right? Ah, fine. We'll just let him rest up and feed him for a while, then send him back into the bush. There you are, boy. Did you hear that? Your friend's going to be better soon, thanks to you and the dingoes. <laughs> Speaking of which, this foal's friends appear to be waiting for him. Come on, fella. Off you go. He's all right, Wombat, and he's in good hands. The old prospector helped one of my children back to health once. He's a good man, Wombat. 
and his grandson takes after him. You've no cause to worry. Oh, well, worrying's what I do best. <laughs> we know that, Wombat. Hi, everyone. You were very brave, Urella. Wasn't he, Wombat? Oh, I suppose so. And full of trust to let the boy get so close to you. Ah, oh, he saved my life, Benny. I can trust him. And you saved baby Wombats. I suppose you'll be wanting to thank Urella, Wombat. Wombat? Hey, Wombat! What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, oh, he did quite a good job for a Brumby, I suppose. Oh, thank you, Wombat. But it's good to help friends. No, I can't hang around here chatting all day. I've got to get home and tell Mrs Wombat that there'll be one less for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> You've been fishing here since you were a kid, eh, mate? Well, we've been here an hour and not so much as a nibble. Oh, patience is a virtue, mate. That's what fishing's all about. Patience? Oh, it's pretty hard to be patient, mate. Hey, have you noticed the way this jetty trembles every now and again? That's as solid as a rock, this jetty. I told you I've been here since I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! 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 Not me, you! Me, you! Me beautiful, you! This is the last time I go fishing with you, mate. So Baby Wombat was in very good hands as he settled back to enjoy a few weeks of being spoilt as he waited to recover from his accident. And there was another treat in store organized by his father. But it wouldn't turn out quite as it had been planned. 